all right uh, we are moving on to the like and dislike okay so over here we can just come and then write so like and dislike can just work on this functionality real quick we can't set up the routes right now because as usual we need to set up the service and then the controller then we come to the routes so let's just come here into the post service here and let's just work on that so i could come here and i'll just copy sorry about that i would i'll just come copy this just copy this and then i'll say what would i say i'll say that um uh, what am i gonna say <laughs> i'm gonna say uh like like and dislike okay so now that we have like and dislike here we already have the params and we have the body here then we are throwing our arrows we are throwing this arrow of course and then over here is where we're going to make the changes okay so what changes are we trying to make first of all we want to be able to get the post okay then we can uh, we can even rename this to target post so that you so this is the target post that we want to like or dislike right or it, let's just keep it as post <laughs> all right so post then post then we await right then what are we awaiting we are trying to await this post model that we imported right and we are going to find the post by id when where are we getting the id from we are going to get it from the params so we can say params dot what id okay so the params dot id that we have then we now come down and then we want to do some checks right now we say that we want to do some if else here okay so what if else are we doing here uh what if else are we doing here my cursor here yeah. okay now we're going to say that we are checking inside the post the likes okay the likes array of a post right if you come into this post section here this post model you can see that we have a likes array here which has a default of no nothing right so inside here we want to check inside the likes array of the post right and then we want to see if it includes if it includes what want to see if it includes what want to see if it includes the body the the user id that we are passing to the body right so we say body dot user id okay now that we so over here we want to make sure that it doesn't include it right so we will check inside the post the likes are inside the post for whether we would find the user id inside if it doesn't have the user id inside then let us do some pushes right so we can see await this post dot update one then inside the update one how do we update it we can pass in a few methods so i can take push right now inside the push here what do i do i can do take this likes right here and then what can i do next i can take what the body the party that we are passing through okay the body dot what user id okay so inside we want to we want to push to inside the likes array the user id that we are passing through the body okay now once we are able to do that once we are able to do that we can uh we can uh, yeah we can do that and then once it, the i the user id that we are passing is already inside the likes array that we are doing here we can rather dislike instead so or else we can await right we can await uh, we can await uh, the post right this post 
by setting the update to one right so setting the update to one so uh, so this update one is going to do it we're going to pull so we'll pull out or what are we trying to pull okay what are we trying to pull we are trying to pull the user id that is inside that like array so that we, we can dislike right so over here we have the body dot user id inside here then uh, outside once we are able to do all of these things right what we can do is we can return the value or we can return the post right so we can return this post that we have over here okay now how do we test this uh let's make sure we correct this name or like and dislike okay so we can go into the post controller here and then we can go let us just copy this okay we've copied that i can say like and dislike posts uh, like and dislike controller instead yeah. like and dislike controller makes more sense then we can clear okay we can see posts right then we can see like and dislike uh, service here then we are passing in what's the request of params the request of body of which if you check through would we'll pass through here so request of params dot id then over here you get request of body dot user id then request the body dot user id so you get the whole trend right then inside the post controller now that we've been able to set this up you can now pass in the new post here that we are returning okay then we can see that the post has been liked successfully or has been liked in general uh, but we want to be able to uh, yeah we, so yeah the post has been liked or or post action has been completed so we can say post action has been completed okay sure so now this is the kind of message that we can receive in general right okay but another way we can also handle this but you let's not go down that deep let's keep it simple then in the future we can come up with much more complex stuff so over here we can just say so instead of saying post deletion field we can rather say post action or post like or this like action okay okay so post like or dislike action has been completed so I can go into the post dot route here and then we can copy this we can copy this paste and then we make this a put request actually make this a put request then over here we can we can say what like post with this id okay then over here we can say what like and dislike controller okay so now that we have this we can test it so how do we test it i'm going to open postman right now and then i'm going to create a new request i'm going to create a new request here so over here I'm gonna say like and dislike post like and dislike post then I'll make it a put request as we indicated then here we have uh, like post okay then at the end we're going to have to pass in the ID uh, let 
me see if I'll see the post that we've been able to create here over here because I now have to open MongoDB for it. Okay, so it's here. So I'll go into YT social app here. We have posts here. Okay. So we just have one post being created by this user and then this user is the one that owns the post. Now B4, let's check the user that has the B4. Okay, that is Ama. So let us create a new post with Kofi. Okay. So I'll say this is a post from Kofi. So this is Kofi's user ID and then we are going to create a post that has there is a test description from Kofi. Okay, now say test test Kofi. Test Kofi PNG and then we would create a new post for Kofi. So now that we've been able to create a post for Kofi, we have uh, Ama and Kofi's post here. So what you can do is, I want Ama to like Kofi's post, right? So over here, I can take the user ID that we have here. So obviously, this is Ama's user ID, right? So what? So how do we do this? I can simply go into the like and dislike post here go into the body and then inside the row we can choose json and then here i can say user id i can say user id and then we have inside the user id we pass in this passing this i'm just going to save it and then i'll take the post that we are trying to like ID of that post and then I'll put it here. Okay, then we like it. Okay, we already have we already have a base URL. So without without wasting my time, let's just like it. Okay. So you can see when we go into MongoDB right now, we should see the changes being made. So if I go into the likes array, you should see that we have this user ID inside here okay i'm glad that we've been able to set this up we can also perform the dislike so when i go back into my postman and i like again you should see that when i come and refresh it shouldn't be there so you can see that it's empty but i i wanted to like so let's just like real quick okay okay it's cool 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 uh let me check one more time okay so it's in here so now that we've been able to do that i want us to be able to get a single post real quick right so we can go back into the post service and let's let's just export let's just copy this and then uh, create let's just get get post okay so get post then get post is going to just take in the params Right, and then over here, no need to perform any complicated stuff. We have our post, we are waiting the post with the parameter ID, then we are just returning the post real quick. Right now that we've been able to set this up, we can now go into the post controller here, and then we can. Oh no, I'm trying to just select this. I guess the touchpad makes it a bit difficult. 
Oh, what is going on? Okay, so I'll just copy this. Then I'll come here. And I'll say get post controller. Okay, get post controller. This is my get post. And I'll remove this. Then I would bring out this post and I'll say I'll say posts has been fetched successfully. Then uh post See, post fetch post fetch field okay now that we have this all set up I'll go into the routes the post routes here and then I would copy and paste this I'll just get a post here so get posts okay so over here I can just mean that I get so I can just say get post with the ID and then I'll say what get post controller get post controller receive that and then inside our post here we can just create a new request over here then we can get a post here Let's take the one we created just now. Then we we'll just throw it in here. Then we can get it. Okay, so this is the push that we we're able to get, and it works exactly how we expect it to be. Thank you very much for getting to this point of the tutorial. Really appreciate. It. Hopefully, we'll be moving on to getting timeline posts, and then we should learn a new concept: nested asynchronous. Um really happy that we're able to make it to this part so far yeah so hopefully i'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe then so that you won't miss the next one all right bye